So do you struggle packing clothes for camping? Are you always trying to fit too much in? When you get to camp, you can never find what you're looking for? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you a quick trick that we've come up with to help maximize our packing and make it so much easier when we get to camp. Tim from Four Wheel Drive and Camping Adventures here. Today I want to talk to you about packing your bags for camping. Now we've got a family of four with two young kids. When we first started going camping, what we would be doing is take one large suitcase and we would have everyone's clothes in the one suitcase. Now it was great for being compact and organised, but when we actually got to the camp and we had it in the tent, we were forever shuffling through everyone's clothes to find the one shirt or the one shorts that we might have needed for one of the kids. So my wife decided, rather than having one large bag, why don't we split it so we've each got an individual bag? Makes complete sense, right? But the issue then was room. We didn't have room for four big suitcases in the back of the camper trailer. So we got to thinking, and we stumbled across duffel bags. Now you can get duffel bags anywhere, but uh, we popped down to Tent World and I'll put all the links in the description below. Um, and we got some Oztrail duffel bags, just the large ones. So we now each have one of these duffel bags. The great thing about them, unlike the suitcases, we can squish them and squash them into any place in the camper trailer any spare spots that aren't filled, we can jam them in there. We're going camping, right? So we don't need to worry about having our clothes all crease free and all that sort of stuff. So we can jam them in there and we don't need to worry about it. Now to add to that, once we had the duffel bags, we were still struggling a little bit finding clothes because it's just one duffel bag, right? Everything moves around inside and once you start squishing it into spots where well, everything just gets messed up. So the next idea my wife came up with was she found these individual bags that you can get from uh, Big W. I'll throw a link in the description for these below as well. They're called, um, I think they're called packing cubes or something like that. And what we can actually do is split them. So we have shirts, shorts, undies, socks, you know, whatever. Then when you go to your duffel bag, you're not throwing everything out, especially, especially with the little kids. They open the duffel bag, all they need is a pair of shorts, but of course, pulling out shirts and socks and jocks and everything's just going flying. So we've got these bags each, all different colors, and they can put their socks, their shirts, their shorts, all in these individual bags. And we found it's made life so much easier. Another thing we can do with the duffel bags is particularly for the kids, we can put their pillow, their sleeping bag, and any activities in the one duffel bag. So we don't have as much stuff rolling around. The kids know exactly where to go to get their stuff. Uh, we've all got little fancy identification tags on them. Um, the kids know what their bag is, and it saves us a lot of hassle and mucking around. Not so much when we're packing up to leave. The preparation probably does take a little bit longer than throwing it all in one suitcase. But once we actually get to camp, and we're in a tent, it's night, and we need to get the kids changed into their pajamas, it's just a matter of getting their duffel bag, opening it up, pulling out the pocket, and we're done. We don't have to worry about if we've put it back, we don't need to worry about if something's fallen out into the dirt. Um, it's, it's simple, and it saves us heaps of time and heaps of stress, which is what we're trying to avoid when we go camping, right? Um, so like I said, I'll pop all the, all the links into the description below. So a question for you guys, pop it in the comments below. What are some of the tricks that you have for packing going for camping? I'd love to hear your comments. Most of the best suggestions are probably gonna come from you guys. So thanks for watching. Now if you've, this is the first time you've seen a video, just smash that like button. If you've seen a couple, it'd be fantastic if you could subscribe. And if you wanna see the content regularly, uh, hit that notification bell as well. Thanks guys. and. Hopefully we'll see you out there.